Hi there, this is Kevin Stewart, Bills250, and welcome to the next instalment of Builder Model Spitfire Mark 1A by Hachette Partworks. This is issue 18. Okay, so issue 18 looks like it's going to be starting on some of the framework for the fuselage, um, just at the back of the cockpit. I'm going to be adding a few little details, last details, onto the starboard side of the framework that have been doing over the last couple of issues. But hey, let's have a look at it, let's uh, have a look at the parts, let's check them off on the inventory and then let's get into the build for issue 18. Okay, so parts laid out here for issue 18. Um, details of cockpit again, but it looks like starting the framework parts. So it's going to be the bulkhead parts and lots and lots of details on sprues, some very nice details actually. But yeah, let's get this built. This is uh, issue 18. Okay, so what we've got for our first part is part B, A and B from this sprue. Which looks like it is. Oh, there's two. Put one part A, so one of these. And one part B, which are these. Sure, we've got them flash. No, that's pretty good, and that's pretty good as well. And then we're just going to be gluing them together. Yep, test fit them first, obviously. Glue them together. Okay, and then we just need to do the same again for a second part. Okay, so that's two of those done. And then fitted to part C, which is this part here. Fitting both of them to part C. Just make sure I'm kind of getting the right way around, right orientation that way. And these are going to be both be kind of sat, I think. In the downward position. Yep. Okay. We'll glue those in. Okay. That's that done. Now bring over the part, first part of the cockpit frame and bulkhead. It's the one that's completed. The right way round, so it's the other way round. Okay, but one side's got a load of kind of details on it. It's the other way round. Lots of things on the instructions. And them facing that way. Those on that way. Like that part, like that. I'm just going to glue that in place. Once again, because it's going onto metal, I think I'm going to a reasonable amount of glue. Glued on. And turning it over, and I'm taking all the parts, I believe, from issue 16. This one from issue 16, which we kept. Didn't use in 16. Now this comes around to the detail side. And getting the orientation right so that part there, the uh, indent, okay, it's going to be going on like that. Four holes, so 
on that side like that. Um, super glue. Okay, I think that's going to be with the headrest, isn't it? It's going to stay on my headrest though, don't. Okay. This little part, which is the headrest, and round part. Just make sure I get the right one. Yeah. And that's going to just sit into there, and then the headrest is going to go onto that. So, yep, tiny little bit of super glue. And metal part. I'm going to make sure I get this the right way around. Oh no, so this is plastic part. It's a metal part. Yeah, just make sure I get that the right way around. That's going to be going down in that direction. It's quite nicely. H off of here, I believe. Oh no, 16 and 7, so that's that one. From the uh, sprue from issue 16. And that's G. From this sprue which you've got in this issue. Wish I knew the names of all these parts. They're just called details, I know, I think. Yeah, they're just called details. I don't tell you what parts they are. It'd be nice to know. What these are actually parts are we're constructing. But um, yeah, they just tell you they're called cockpit detailing. I suppose you could do a bit of research, or I could do a bit of research and find out which one, what they are. But, okay, so that's going to be going on like that with that pointing outwards. Okay, can we turn this over? And that's going to be sitting in there, in that position. Uh, okay. Parts left from this sprue in this issue. Like the sprue is going to be going together. It also looks like another oxygen tank or something. And then that's going to be going on to. I need to bring over starboard side cockpit internal. Okay, and that's going to be going in that way, facing that side. I'm going to use quite a bit of super glue on this one, not quite a bit, but not the cocktail stick method, the other method. Now bringing over the bulkhead part, which hasn't got the end on it. Make sure I get that the right way around. Make sure there's the right way and the wrong way. Okay, have a look. Okay. If it's in this cockpit frame, know that there are two rectangular tabs near the top part. This should be facing away from you. So these two rectangular tabs 
be difficult to see, but there's two rectangular tabs need to be facing away. So they need to go in that way. You shouldn't be able to see those. And just use some screws to fit them on. Sorry, 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 that made my bad. Again, it doesn't. That way around. It goes from inside. Got it. So they go on the inside, not on the outside, like that. Okay, got it. So that goes through the hole. Got it. Okay. Okay, so that's it for issue 18. Okay, you've still got quite a lot left on that screw, but you're not going to be using that in this one and a spare screw. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so that was uh, that was issue 18 of Build a Spitfire. Um, not much to talk about really on that one. It was quite nice detailing, but that's all it was really detailing for the cockpit. But hey, that was the last issue of that subscribers pack. So now I'll just be waiting on getting the next subscribers pack for this particular build. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so. But hey, there's a lot of other stuff going off on the channel. Got the Ecto and got the Ferrari. And the Ecto is really coming together quite nicely. And I'm just loving the Ferrari build. Just loving the detail on that. So hey, if you'd like to catch up on any of those builds uh, or follow the progression of this build, then please consider subscribing. Uh, and if you'd like to be notified any time that a video goes live, you can always click the bell. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and tell it off for now.